I'm in the land of the Swedish candles. Hey boys, that's a load of wood. big lad and oh man these are the days for cotton wood because the snow gets right moist during the night and then freezes like cement overnight so you can actually walk around with no snowshoes on lots of freedom and just twist your skidoo in around whatever bunch of trees you want to cut and it also means you can load your sled up really really high so this is old wood that's uh, been burnt in a forest fire about uh, nine years ago and it's just prime for cutting now you knock it down it's already dried take it back to your cabin no need to stack it up and dry it over the summer just throw it right in the stove so i'm going to find a few trees now knock them down and pile her up She always goes and lies down by the skidoo when I'm cutting wood. You scared of trees, are ya? It probably wouldn't even hurt if it landed on this big butt. Now the fellow show up. Taking advantage of the good conditions. I would stop that's a big load of wood there I mean that's a lot of uh, burning there and uh, but such good going now I just got my skidoo kind of parked on a little grade there and the main trail is just out there so we're gonna keep going
those extra lags on top now wouldn't junked him up of course it would have fell off so i'll uh had another few more days and nights burning there you know it's worth throwing on top only well, took a couple minutes to get it so straps all tight now and once i get down a trail a little ways i'll give them another little twist again because you gotta find her place you know all right the work is over i'm good and hungry now i think i'll uh have a cup of tea I have a little something to eat I got some fish they're gonna fry up and i think i'll use a swedish candle today because i'm in the land of the swedish candles so why not find one cut a junk off and uh let's get to it all right someone left this stump here so I'm going to utilize that now. I'm going to leave it in place, cut my Swedish candle first. So I don't have to work at it so hard. I'm not sure if I'll make two cuts or three. The thing about Swedish candles is the more cuts you make, the easier it is to light, but the faster they burn out. So I think I'll make uh, three cuts today. <laughs> Break out the kettle and the frying pan. I just realized, you know, I just cut all that wood uh, and never even gassed her up. So that's pretty good gas mileage, I think. That's a lot of wood there, boy. I guess where she's so powerful, she don't uh, work so hard as the other saws. So I'm glad of that too. Get out of the food bag. It's a little bit windy here today. I'll try to stay out of the wind if I can here. Birch bark with me. Oh, well, that's starting to go there. I'll uh, bust out some of this trout that I got. Uh, me and Andrew got when we were down on a big trip there a couple weeks ago. Look how red this stuff is, guys. Look. So I've been using this uh, coconut oil lately. Um, all of my black bear fat is gone, but I find this is really good. Uh, I should be able to get some more black bear fat in spring, but this uh, doesn't burn very well. Like it has a high burning point. So it's good for cooking over the open fire, you know? rich a little bit of garlic salt maybe a lot and some lemon pepper you cannot beat lemon pepper on fish don't be afraid to use it Might be the last time I guess out to cut a bit of wood this year, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm busy this week and the temperatures are starting to stay above freezing all the time. So when the snow starts to go, it goes pretty quickly. And you certainly can't be out hauling wood. You ain't gonna end up having disaster getting stuck. And so today is going today is an excellent day for this today. And it's so enjoyable. It's good exercise. I always think about my buddy. I'm sure you won't mind me using his name here, Craig Keeping. Good friend of mine, grew up with him, good buddies. We hunted and fished together and hung out and grew up together, you know, especially in our later years, teenage years and stuff. And good friend of mine, I love him very much. But, you know, we used to cut wood, you know. And back when you were a bit younger, your mind was elsewhere. And like Craig would always say, boy Chuck, when I get older and I make a bit of money for myself, I'm not burning any more wood. Because he hate cutting it, right? <laughs> but I wonder if you're watching the day, Craig, buddy. When you see a day like this, do you miss it? Let me know, buddy. Thinking of you, man. Yeah, that fish is just a bit done. Boys, 
I'm going to tell you something right now. When you're down catching these fish, this is what I think of. Eating this here like this here, now right over the open fire like that. Oh, oh, oh man. Wow. Even those fins are good, eh? Oh, man. I gotta go back next year and catch some more. That is unreal. Willow loves fish, too. Don't ya? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I can't stop showing you guys, because I wish you could taste it. You know, a good thing about those these candles is that they're easy to light and it gives you a nice level surface you know to do your cooking lay your frying pan down or put your kettle on and there's a lot of heat from that holy smokes if ever there was a fish that tastes as good as a lobster or crab or something like that good stuff this is it right here now hit the trail guys back to the cabin before it gets too warm out and the snow starts getting soft we got a lot of wood that we can burn here fantastic day great cook up just a great time outside all together so until next time guys take care of each other get outside and enjoy everything outdoors we'll see you next time guaranteed let's go <laughs>